Hey guys, let's have a brief little moment of deepness, just for a second. I was reading my YouTube comments recently, and as it turns out, a few of you guys have the exact same problem. And it's a problem that I had for a really long time. It's this particular problem where you make a dope warhammer, or like some totally rad sword or a knife, and then you make a handle, and it SUCKS! I mean, you can see the evidence all the way up until Homemade Weapons 4, like the machetes in part 3, those handles suck. So if you're making something small, like a knife, you can just skip the first part of this video and just go straight to the paracord wrapping. But if you're making anything bigger than that, like a war hammer or a big sword, then you should start the video from like right here. Oh wait, no, right here. This video should be really short. This whole process is really, really simple. I just took some measurements. This is an inch and a half this way. It's 10 inches between this corner and this corner, 11 between this corner and this corner. And then you just take some paper, do those measurements, draw them out on the paper, and then you can stylize it in any way that you want. I'm just gonna do the very most basic handle. The last one had a really, really basic handle and I like the way it felt. So you just draw that out. And then once it's drawn out, then you're gonna cut it out. And then once it's cut out, you're just gonna take it over to some quarter inch wood of any kind. This is just some craft board. You don't have to use anything fancy. It's gonna be completely covered up with paracord anyways. You trace it onto here, and then you cut it out with a jigsaw. So now you got your two identical halves. Normally what you would have to do is put both sides on like that put the other one on and then you'd clamp it and then drill through it but since this already had a handle on it before and then I ripped it off to show you guys how to make it it already has holes in it so what I'm gonna end up having to do is do it one side at a time so I'll put one on and then I'll drill through it I'll put the other one on flip it over drill through that to make sure that all the holes are lined up properly and then after all the holes are drilled then we're gonna pop some rivets in it I mean put the other side on first and then pop the rivets through it if you don't have a riveter, you can actually just cut little pieces off of a little wooden dowel that's like really small in diameter and just put little pegs through it. That's actually a lot closer to the way that the handles on Japanese katanas are made. And I know intuitively it seems like the handle pieces would just break off if you just use little wooden dowels, but once you put the paracord wrap around it, it's not going anywhere. But if you're still insecure about how well the dowels or the rivets are going to hold it in, you can go ahead and put some glue down before you put this on. But you still have to put the dowels or the rivets in. Now that I got all the rivets popped, it's time to do all the shaping. Since I kept it simple, the shaping is going to be really simple. I might just take a knife, round out the edges a little bit, then just do a little work with some sandpaper. And then once I got it all rounded out, then I'm going to paint it with some flat black just to match the rest of the hammer. So now I got it all rounded out, sanded, painted, dried. A lot of you guys might just want to leave it this way. This is pretty cool looking, I guess, but I'm going to be doing a paracord wrap. Now when you're buying paracord, make sure you buy it from a hardware store rather than a hobby shop. Like go to Home Depot rather than Hobby Lobby or Michaels because they assume that anybody who goes to Hobby Lobby to buy paracord is buying it for like bracelets. So they'll sell you a lot less of it for more money. Like you'll end up spending five dollars for 30 feet of paracord as opposed to three dollars for 150 feet like you would get at home depot now i'll show you the paracord wrap it's super simple you just go paracord paracord thump a bar so hard i could terraform feel the fear rumbling like a terror storm you're umbilically chown so i cut your cord and then i cut you more it's what's in store for the weak soul claiming that he picks out more still so living enigmatic erratic erratic tactical panic my foes kicking while my foes remain static and then once you got that done we're gonna start wrapping the handle we're just gonna start out with this loop we're gonna make a loop that is a little bit longer than the handle itself. And you're just gonna hold it down with your thumb really tight, and then you're gonna wrap the long end around the back of the handle. And the whole entire time you're doing all this stuff, make sure you're keeping everything really tight, keep everything pinched, or the handle is gonna be loose and it's gonna fall off eventually. And so after you've brought the paracord around it, and you are laying it over the loop, then we're going to go under the loop. See, don't go through it, go under it. And then you pass it back around the handle again, and then you're gonna go over the loop again, under it, behind the handle, over the loop, under it, behind the handle, over the loop, under it and I think you understand where this is going you just do this until you get to the very end of the handle and then at that point your handle should look like this from top to bottom 
the way you finish off this wrap is you take the end that you've been putting around it all these times, you pass it through the loop, you hold it down, and then this end right here, you pull on this. So I just pull on it, and then the loop gets smaller, tightens around this rope, and then now all that's left is cutting off the excess paracord. So if you've ever tried cutting paracord before, you know that it's just really bothersome, like it frays and just falls apart. Here's how you keep it from fraying after you've cut it. So here's what happens to it if you don't do this method to it. It just frays, falls apart, whatever. So all you got to do is catch it before it gets to that point, and then you just use a lighter. And then you just hold it near the fibers of it. You'll see it start curling back. And then once the white fibers on the inside have fused with the colored stuff on the outside, then you can stop. So I got the handle all wrapped up. I got the end of the paracord all blobbed up and just, like I said, put it through the loop. And when this rope right here is going through all this paracord, there's going to be a lot of friction on it, so it might be pretty much impossible to pull through with just your hands. So just use some pliers, or you can clamp the end of the string into a vise and then tug on the whole hammer. And burning it down a little extra so that the blob on the end is a little bigger is actually pretty helpful because then it'll keep it from slipping through once you've tugged on that end of the thing and the loop is closed. But if you're not comfortable in your blob making skills, you can just tie a knot, I guess. So I got it tightened down. Now I got this stupid tail, so I'm just going to cut it off. And then we cauterize the wound. <laughs> and if you don't plan on ever reusing this paracord, you can even melt the loop and the strand together. And the final step, I have here a yellow farm fresh potato. I got a three pound bag from the fresh market. Great deal. That's where I get all my potatoes. You're not going to want to ruin a great handle with a crappy potato. You got to make sure that's a really high quality potato. So all you got to do is get some duct tape. I'm using white duct tape. It's better for aerodynamic than gray duct tape. You peel the strip in half and you have to make sure that you lay it horizontally on the potato. It's got to be the long way up duct tape going sideways. Then from there, you put it onto the handle, tuck it around, and here's a little trick that I learned. After you have it taped on that way, you can flip it this way. Put the other half of the duct tape around this way, and that'll keep it on there a lot better. And that's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Now I know what you're thinking. Why a potato? Wouldn't it be better to use an apple? Well, you can fight me on this, but in my experience, apples are a little bit too acidic for something this size, but so I don't make too many of you mad, they are perfect for smaller applications like claw hammers. And they use similar amounts of tape, you're not going to have to go out and buy more tape. It's fine if it doesn't connect all the way right there, it'll still work fine. And just like that, you never have to worry about butchering a cool weapon with a crappy handle, ever again. Ain't that a comforting thought? Now look guys. If you spend even a fraction of the amount of time that I spend on the internet, YouTube in particular, you probably hear something similar to this 50 times a day, so I don't blame you if you don't hear much when people say this, but look, take a second to just realize I am trying to speak to you right now, and I want you to hear something I, that I'm trying to say. If each of you watching this video shares it with one person, my views get doubled. And that's just talking about one person, not even multiple people. When, when we start talking about multiple people, things start getting crazy from there. But let's start out small, just one person, please. If you're not subscribed, I'll accept a subscription instead of a share. But if you're subscribed, the least you can do is share it with a person. Come on, just one person. I'll be eternally grateful if you help me out. Oh, also, I've got a vlog channel, too. It's called Vlog of Eli. Uh, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's just me vlogging, but it gets pretty deep at times. Not even like jokingly deep, it gets pretty deep, I'm not gonna lie. So don't just rush into it thinking it's a bunch of weapons and lollipops, there's some pretty deep stuff in there. Please check it out, people seem to think it's pretty good, I don't really know, I don't watch my videos, I'm kind of a goof, I bug myself. But yeah, thanks for watching, if you made it all the way to the end of this, I'll uh, talk to you later guys. See ya, bye.